All right, I figure I'd do a video on my uh, steel banded blades. I did another three part video showing uh, how they're made. It's a silent video and uh, you can watch that, but I figure I'd do a little up close and uh, show you the blade itself. Um, here's just a few different versions I've made. I'll come over here and uh, you can kind of get the, the gist of it. Basically, uh, PVC blades have been done before. There's um, there is all kinds of instructions on how to do that, but uh, I did a little something different. I added a steel band that runs along the uh, from the root to the tip there, and uh, those are one eighth by eighth by eighth all aluminum rivets that I put on there. You can see uh, a strip of pallet band, half inch pallet band, which has extremely high tensile strength, and uh, and then this one uses a little bit of aluminum. That one uses a little bit of roofing steel, and uh, that is just pallet band. So I've done a few different configurations of this. This has been painted, um, of course, and uh, and what that steel does is just, as you would imagine, it gives it that strength. So um, I haven't broken one yet. Uh, they they do work very well, and uh, you can get that that shape that you want with uh, with uh, for that I want, I should say, um, with a flat spot right here so you're kind of scooping the wind and sort of bringing to a stop. I know it's not the most efficient airfoil but it does uh, it's very effective effective for my purposes so I figured I'd show you that and uh, here's just a couple others this one over here goes on another turbine I've got different diameters um, for the most part I like to use these for uh, gearing something up rather than or using the belts and pulleys to flat belts to raise the ratio of my turbines and uh, I do a few direct drives like that two bladed one right there but for the most part uh, that's it so watch the three-part video subscribe if you don't mind and until uh, next time